Hidden in the breathtaking beauty of Aosta Valley, Jean Daniel Pession, one of Italy's leading skiers, found his true passion. That passion for skiing in the mountains brought him together with his girlfriend, Elisa Arleon. Their shared love of adventure and nature not only brought them closer together, but ultimately led to a tragic end. During one of their mountain expeditions, disaster struck. But before we start, let's go back to where it all began. This is the story of Jean Daniel Pession and Elisa Arleon. Jean Daniel Pession was born on September 19, 1995, in Courmayeur, a town at the foot of Mont Blanc in Italy. Growing up in this alpine environment, he developed a love for skiing at an early age. By the time he was a teenager, Jean had already shown immense potential in alpine skiing, competing in local and national competitions. After his initial success in national competitions, he quickly climbed onto the international scene. He represented Italy in several World Cup competitions and was a promising talent leading up to the Winter Olympics. His technical skills, combined with his determination and passion, made him a formidable competitor on the slopes. During his career, he achieved several impressive results. Notably in 2021, he finished 15th in the overall World Cup standings. At the World Championships in Vars in 2022, he placed 22nd. Besides being a professional skier, Jean was also a dedicated ski instructor. He shared his knowledge and passion with the next generation of skiers, earning much respect and admiration within the community. His students praised him for his patience, his ability to explain complex techniques simply, and his infectious enthusiasm. Jean and Elise met for the first time during a ski competition in the Aosta Valley. Elise Arleon was born in St. Barthélemy, a small town in the Aosta Valley in Italy. She started skiing at a young age, inspired by the winter sports culture of her hometown. Her surroundings, known for their mountains and winter sports opportunities, provided the perfect conditions for a career in cross-country skiing. During her career, Elisa participated in various national and international competitions. She was especially active in the Junior Roller Ski World Cup events, where she consistently performed well. For example, she achieved an 11th place finish at the 6.8 km CMST uphill at the Valle Brembana Roller Ski Junior World Cup in 2013. Besides her athletic achievements, Elisa was also a talented ski instructor and an inspiring figure for many young skiers in the region. Her courage and determination to overcome obstacles, both on and off the slopes, made her a role model for many. She influenced everyone around her with her positive attitude and smile. Jean and Elisa's shared passion for the mountains and adventure created a deep bond between them. They quickly became inseparable, not only in their personal lives, but also as partners on the slopes. Together, they explored some of the most challenging routes and climbed the highest peaks in Europe, such as the Dolomites in Trentino Alto Adige, the impressive Mont Serbion in the Aosta Valley, the iconic Mont Blanc, the accessible Brythorn on the border of Switzerland and Italy, and the beautiful roots of Cogne. Their relationship was marked by strong mutual support and admiration for each other's skills and perseverance. Jean was praised for his technical skills and speed on the slopes, while Elisa was known for her courage and determination. Together, they formed a powerful duo that always aimed for new heights. But on June 1st, 2024. Tragedy struck when Jean and Elisa set out to climb Mont Zerbion in the Aosta Valley. Mount Zerbion, located in the Valle d'Aosta region of Italy, is a popular destination for climbers due to its challenging terrain and breathtaking views. The summit of Zerbion offers a panoramic view of the surrounding mountains, including the famous Matterhorn and Monte Rosa, it is a beloved spot for both local and international climbers. Jean and Elisa began their climb early in the morning of June 1, 2024, a day that promised to be clear and calm in the Aosta Valley. The weather forecast predicted mostly cloudy skies with light breezes of 7 to 12 km an hour and occasional gusts up to 36 km per hour. There was only a 30% chance of light rain in the afternoon, temperatures were expected to reach around 12 degrees Celsius, perfect for a challenging climb. Despite these moderate weather conditions in the valley, 
there was still snow on the lighter parts of Mount Zerbion. Prepared and full of enthusiasm, Jean and Elisa started their journey. Their route was familiar to them, filled with steep, rocky passages and snowy slopes. The route starts at the village of Chatillon and takes climbers through densely wooded slopes before reaching the rocky outcrops of the mountain. The path requires not only physical strength, but also technical skill and experience in navigating difficult terrain. As experienced climbers and professional skiers, they were well prepared for the challenges of Mount Zerbion. As they steadily made their way up, they were surrounded by breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains, including the Matterhorn and Monte Rosa. Their climbing and skiing skills were evident in every step they took together. The conditions seemed perfect, but unexpectedly, tragedy struck. As they were almost at the top, one of them slipped on a treacherous patch of ice. The fall was relentless, and they plunged around 2,300 feet together. Buried under the snow, they lost their lives. Their families raised the alarm when they didn't return as planned, leading to a large-scale search and rescue operation. Three helicopters and teams from Socorso Alpino and the Guardia di Finanza were deployed to find the couple. Thanks to a signal from their mobile phone, the rescuers were able to locate them. When they arrived, they found Jean and Elisa still tied together, as if in a final embrace. The passing of Jean-Daniel Pession and Elisa Arleon had a profound impact on their families, friends, and the broader skiing community. Many people from the region expressed their condolences to the couple's families, including Renzo Testolin, the president of Valle de Aosta, and Flavio Roda, the president of the Italian Winter Sports Federation. The president of the Italian Winter Sports Federation expressed his deep sympathy and expressed how great a loss it was for the community. Two young lives cut short by a mountain accident. That mountain which was their passion, said Alberto Bertin, president of the Iosta Valley Regional Council. In this moment of deep sadness, we express our closeness to the families, friends, and the entire sports community, embracing them with affection and compassion. Jean and Elisa will always be remembered as two young lives that ended too soon, but whose passion and love for the mountain will have a lasting impact. Their legacy lives on in the hearts of their family, friends, and the many young skiers they inspired. Their story is a reminder of the beauty and danger of the mountains and the immortal spirit of adventure that drove them. The community of Aosta Valley and the broader skiing community have expressed their respect and admiration for Jean and Elisa through memorials and remembrance services. Their family and friends have found comfort in the memories of their lives and the impact they had on those around them. The tragedy deeply shocked the community. Jean and Elisa were remembered as passionate athletes and beloved friends. Their shared passion for the mountains had brought them together, and even in their final moments, they were together. Their story will live on as a symbol of love and dedication to each other and to the sport they loved so much.